I guess I'll finish smoking this cigarette later. Cover you. Make it over here behind this metal deal here. You see it? Yeah. Hey, my name is Russell Bentley. My soldier name is Tejas. We're starting a new program with the Sioux Vermini Information Unit. It's going to be called Donbass with Tejas. This position we're at today, our first program, little town of Spartak, near the airport, just north and east of Donetsk City. This is one of my old positions, called Blizna, means fish hook. It's a hot position. It sticks out uh, into the Ukrop lines. Surrounded on three sides. To the north, two kilometers, major Ukrop army base, Polish army, probably sector Nazis, U.S. and EU mercenaries. We've heard them on the Ukrop army frequencies, so we know they're there. They come up close, they start shooting. To the east, the wood line, snipers work there. Blown up bridge over here, Ukrop position, AGS uh, grenade launcher. And to the west, in these woods, where these trees are, right here, the crops come up there and start shooting at us all the time. This is a very hot position. A lot of guys been hit here. And we've done some hitting back, too. And we're going to keep doing it. Most of the guys here have the uh, AK-74, 5.45 millimeter. This here is the old school AK-47, 7.62 millimeter. First thing you do when you get a new weapon is clean it. Kalashnikov's an excellent weapon. Very reliable, accurate. I'm good with points about 300, 400 meters. After that, further away than that, I pull out the RPG. When I was back here in May and June 2015, probably was one of my guard posts. It was a very scary place. Every time I climbed up those stairs, I wasn't sure if I was going to be climbing back down on the map. Welcome to Palby. I put quite a few more holes in this place since I was here last time. Tanks. You can see those. Those two towers right there are U-crop positions. Buildings over there, that's U-crop army base. You see that bridge down there? That bridge is blown up. That's a U-crop uh, military position. They got an IGS, little observation post there.
U crop drone flying over. They fly over here a lot. We try and shoot them down, sometimes we do. You gotta be careful though, usually when we start shooting at the drones, the IGS from the bridge will start opening up in a little while, so we might be getting some steel around. Yeah, that's fucking U crop, dude. It's, uh, it's flying back toward the U crop lines now. <laughs> Little bird hunting. Need a big shotgun. There's a lot of volunteers from foreign countries that are here. But the vast majority of the people that are defending Donbass are the people that live here. They're defending their own land, their own homes. This is my friend, the operator. He's from Donbass. He, he was a miner before the war. Now he's a soldier defending his home. The сколько времени есть на армии ДНР? Там наверное уже чуть чуть больше года. Твоя город Донецк? За Донецком там небольшой городок Макеевка. А Макеевка? Да. Это как равно равно. Да, да. Ну, пригород Донецка, можно так сказать. Раньше работал на шахте электросессорем подземным. Честно говоря, никогда не думал, что придется автомат в руки взять. Лет пять назад бы сказали, я вообще в такое не поверил. После того, как вот это началась заваруха, начали запрещать разговаривать на русском языке. Ну, пришлось взять в руки автомат. Конечно, страшно было поначалу. Ну, что поделаешь. Пришлось перетерпеть, страх переломать. Война это плохо, но... Фашизм это очень, очень плохо. Мой, мой прадед убивал фашизм, фашистов. Там есть этот пулемет Дегтярева, смотрю, он 43 или 1944 -го года. Видно, мой прадед с него стрелял. Mm -hmm. Так же самое я спустя три поколения убиваю фашистов. История повторяется. Как в 45-м закончилась, так и сейчас. Только они еще пока этого не понимают. Как-никак мы русские люди тоже на Донбассе живем. Русские люди никогда не проигрывали. Хотят земли русской, они ее получат по два с половиной метра на каждого. Правда? чтобы она была теплая. Вкусно? Отлично. Отлично. Я люблю это вообще. This is the old barracks room at the Blizna position. This is where the soldiers live when they're not on the firing line. Here's where they sleep. Here's where they eat. Keep our weapons right here, always ready. And this is what we believe in. Christianity and communism. It's not the least bit of a contradiction. The early Christians were communists. They lived a communist lifestyle. Nova Russia, communism 2.0. There's definitely room for religion here. I can tell you when you're shooting and getting shot at every day, you do your fair share of praying. I know I did mine right here. So we're going to defend this country. We're going to defend this position. We don't resent and surrender, we don't retreat. Because we're the new kind of communist, 2.0. We got Lenin and we got God on our side. We cannot be defeated. When the guys aren't at their firing positions or on guard duty, they're back here in the Kubrick, in the barracks room. Maybe they're taking a nap with their boots on. Maybe they're just relaxing, drinking some coffee, watching TV, or they ain't watching game shows. This movie is called Come and See, E.D. Smotry by Elam Klimov. It's a historically accurate Russian movie about the fascists in the Second World War and what they did here in this part of the world and what they're trying to do again. We're the ones who are gonna stop them with these kind of tools right here. Whatever it takes, we'll use it to stop them. Mm 
In der Usen? Jetzt. <lacht> This is our friend and comrade Bola. Привет, брат. И... Good day. Good day. Отлично, брат. Um, сколько времени есть uh, ты на армии Новороссии? С начала весны. Mm. Нацизм это... Это деструктивная идеология. Yeah, Она конечно. должна уничтожаться. Другого варианта я просто не, не вижу. Я родился на этой земле. Мы в Донбассе интернационалисты. Мы не можем по-другому mm -hmm. быть. У нас даже в городе я ни разу не видел никакого скинхеда. Их у нас не возникало. Mm -hmm. Ненавидеть какую-то нацию просто за то, что они другого корня, это ну, нам чуждо это. Донбасс такой странный регион, мы всегда были пролетариями. Да. У нас не было тут офицерского движения. Почему Стрелкова и не получилось? Он неправильный лозунг выдвинул. Он выдвинул белогвардейский лозунг. Мы выросли тут в рабочих поселках. Мы помним, кто такой Артем. Это уже тоже значит, один из красных лидеров. Поэтому я и решил все-таки взять в руки оружие и пойти вот защищать свою идею, свой народ. Сейчас как на бою сюда, как э, много стреляют э, Европом, Польским? Ну сейчас, конечно, не так же, как лето было и весной. Mm -hmm. Обстрелы как бы стали менее интенсивными. Но все равно украинская армия продолжает провоцировать. Конечно. Из стрелкового оружия, минометы, вот старые ПГ, СПГ, ВГС, у нас приказ. Не отвечать. Если отвечать, то в крайних случаях при атаке уже непосредственно близко. Близко. We spent a couple of days here at the Blizna position in Spartak. It's good to see the old neighborhood. It's good to see the old friends. It's still a hot position. There's still people dying here regularly. Like Bola said, uh, this war is not a war between Russians and Ukrainians. It's a war between Banderistis and us, and us is all good people all around the world. What we are doing here is defending ourselves from Nazis. That bullet hole in the wall right there, that grenade hole, that's not our, that's not our bullets. That's the Banderistis, the Nazis shooting at us. We're just defending ourselves here, and we're gonna keep doing it. We're not gonna surrender. This is the first of a series of programs that we're going to be doing all around Donbass and Nova Russia, the LNR and the DNR. We're going to show you how the soldiers defend it, and we're also going to show you the way of life that they're defending. We're going to be showing you people working, people doing cultural activities, school, stuff like that. This is a beautiful country. It's my new country. I'm very proud of it. Stay tuned. Check it out. I think you're going to like this a lot. So this is Tejas in Donbass. Say in Dubai. Oh.